Who is the one man that Steph Curry has truly never forgiven and what did he possibly do to Steph? A much more difficult question than you might think, as Steph has had a lot of awful teammates and rivals throughout the years. Harrison Barnes shot 2 for 22 in games 5 and 6 of the 2016 finals, and Steph was hanging at his wedding. Chris Paul and Steph have had a rivalry for years, and immediately they are teammates with no problems. Monte Ellis even refused to high-five Steph as a rookie, and Steph ended up wearing his jersey. When it comes to feuds, it looks like Steph Steph Curry has none. However, looks can be deceiving. And when you're the best, it can be easy to love everyone. Matt Barnes, though, believes a lot of other players have animosity towards Steph. Older players hate on Steph, BS or real talk? Real for me. Ooh, all right, why? He's the golden boy. He came in and destroyed record books, won championships, beat LeBron. He's done a lot of things that probably angered other players and other fans. And most of the time when people are so good or something so perfect, so to speak, People don't like that, and that's exactly what you get with Steph. Why do players feel this way? It's not just the shooting, it is the embarrassment. Steph Curry has embarrassed players and done so with a smile. A smile that masks the face of a true killer. You don't need to take my word for it. Listen to Magic Johnson himself. He can shoot from almost half court. He's not throwing it, right. he's shooting he it. We've never seen that before. And then he's a killer. See, people look at the smile yeah. just like they looked at me with my smile. Right. Oh, I'm gonna kill you. Right. And he showed him, he said, no, no, I'm not. I'm not soft. The thing is though, Steph Curry's only grudge, the only man he can truly never forgive is not a player. It is former Warriors head coach, Keith Smart. Why? Because behind Steph's smile does lie a basketball killer and we see it every single season in the playoffs. Yes, Steph is a two-time MVP, but he is a four-time champ. You need that unshakable I'm that guy mindset to win or you will be sent home in the playoffs in embarrassing fashion. And so when it comes to Steph Curry, he has forgiven players that others would have grudges with, but Keith Smart may have made Steph feel truly embarrassed. And it is Keith Smart who to this day, Steph still brings up and upping the stakes even more. It is clear that the revenge Steph has taken on Keith Smart has helped him become one of the all time great. So what's up guys, Mike here, and today we are diving into a weird part of Warriors history where no matter what anyone says, it is clear because of Steph's ankle injuries at the time, everyone, including Golden State, was still a bit unsure of the number seven pick, Steph Curry. Monte Ellis welcomed Steph to the league by saying, we can't play together, as simple as that, and Steph's memories of those times include this statement. I remember when Keith Smart used to bench me in the fourth quarter because he didn't think I could close out games and AC Law was playing. As it turns out, Steph has actually mentioned these two a lot. But before we continue, guys, I am very excited to thank SeatGeek for sponsoring today's video because, yet again, SeatGeek is hooking us up. Now, as we all know, it is not basketball season, but during the offseason, I do love to watch the New York Yankees because if you did not know, my great-grandfather was a New York Yankee, and so I always have to go and support my own family. Yankees are my family. I said it. SeatGeek also has all of your favorite artists, such as Drake, who is still on tour right now. I still haven't gone. I'm regret. I think I have to go. You should go to any single live event you want because again, SeatGeek is hooking us up. If you use my promo code 2K Mike, you are going to get $20 off your first order. That is $20 off your first purchase using promo code 2K Mike. Thank you again to SeatGeek for sponsoring today's video and for hooking us up. And now let's get back into that video. The thing is, Steph was also not the only player who felt this way. Jeremy Lin would later say, I was with him, Curry, during my rookie year. The coach that we had didn't believe that much in Steph and would bench him a lot, get on him, yell at him a lot was just really tough on him. It almost became normal that every fourth quarter he would get benched for a certain stretch. I felt that would shake any player to some degree. When looking into this, it is very clear. Steph believed that Keith Smart had some kind of personal vendetta against him or simply just did not believe in him. We can right away see why Steph would think this as when we compare 2011 Steph Curry's stats to 2011 AC Law and their advanced stats as well, the evidence is right in front of us. Steph had noticeably more points and assists per game, and also he was much more efficient with a better PER, a better true shooting percentage. Pretty much he was better in every single advanced stat, such as box score plus minus, where AC Law finished with a minus 3.2. Yet for some reason in his second year, Steph was benched for AC Law in the fourth quarter a lot of times. 
Lions. Steph's 2011 fourth quarter game logs show the worst kind of situation possible for a young player. Inconsistency. He had 12 minute fourth quarters throughout the season while he also had three minute fourth quarters, zero minute fourth quarters. His fourth quarter playing time varied wildly. Every basketball player, every athlete in the world will tell you that if someone is looking over your shoulder and waiting for you to fail, and that's what Smart was doing. He was waiting for Steph to mess up enough to yank him in the fourth quarter. If someone's waiting for you to fail, it is tough to play under those conditions. It also needs to be noted right now that before Steph Curry, the Warriors were truly awful. The Golden State Warriors between the years 1995 and 2012 made the playoffs a total of one, one season. So you can see why Steph Curry in his second year would be confused as to why he was being benched as a potential franchise player for AC Law, who no disrespect intended, was playing in Serbia in 2012. So with what we know now about Steph Curry, combined with the horrible failures of the Golden State Warriors of past, it seems absurd that Keith Smart would do anything but bet on Steph. So of course, we have to look on the flip side here. Was Steph choking in the fourth quarter? Did Keith Smart have a reason to bench him? So in the 2011 season, in the fourth quarter, Steph took 257 shots and made 119, which is a shooting percentage of 46.3%. That was only slightly down from his 48% shooting for the season. Although in the final three minutes of games in the 2011 season, Steph's numbers dropped to only 40 makes in 97 shots. And when it came to threes, Steph was brick. He only made 11 of his 41 threes. In the fourth quarter in the 2011 season for the Warriors, AC Law shot 78 for 167, which is 46.7%. Slightly better than Steph. But in the final three minutes, AC Law shot 19 for 51, 37.2%. Steph was both better in normal games and in the final three minutes, but yet was benched. We have to remember that a hostile environment for a young player and a horrible franchise can be essentially a death sentence for a young player. Steph Curry was no NBA golden child right away. He was not LeBron James coming into the league. In fact, Steph would not make his first All-Star game until his fifth season. Combine that with the ankle injuries that plagued him and the wrong coach long-term for Steph could have been detrimental. Who knows? Luckily, Mark Jackson came in and then Steve Kerr, of course, but take a look at what coaching and management did to DeMarc Marcus Cousins career. DeMarcus Cousins was once one of the game's brightest young stars. He was second team all NBA in 2015 and 16 on 29 and 33 win teams. Now everyone questions how good he really was because those teams were bad. But back then people were talking about how impressive it was that DeMarcus Cousins was winning awards despite the fact that his team was terrible and they were truly awful. They also made every wrong decision ever. They let Isaiah Thomas go. They let Mike Malone go. But at least throughout that horrible sludge every coach let DeMarcus Cousins play the fourth quarter. He did not have to look over his shoulder and Steph Curry thought, well, he knew that if he made any mistake, Keith Smart was yanking him. The thing is though, the great ones always find a way to become great. They really do. DeMarcus Cousins, I'm sorry, but Steph was able to ride this out. And even though he still will bring up both AC Law and Keith Smart, when asked about James Wiseman's struggles recently, he said, I used to get benched for AC Law. So at the end of the day, I would say, that when it comes to your second year potential franchise superstar, you probably should let him take those fourth quarter reps. You probably should have him out there playing instead of someone who is about to be in the cold of Serbia. However, because he's Steph Curry, the end of this video is still a nice one, at least for Steph. Because when Keith Smart did this to Steph, Steph did the best thing possible. He just put his head down, took it upon himself, and allowed this to drive him. At the end of the day, who ended up being right? Steph Curry, because he he proved Keith Smart wrong. Steph proved that he was an NBA superstar. Again, behind that baby face smile is a basketball killer. So there we have it, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications. That way you never miss a video. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much for supporting. You're awesome. We all know it. And as always, have an awesome day, guys, and cue that music. If you're still here while the music is cued, here are two videos I think you are definitely going to enjoy. I mean, personally, I think the one on the left might be more your style, but the one on the right looks pretty awesome too. Click one, let me know what you think, and again, have an awesome day.